Could China's radar innovations shift the balance of global security? As tensions simmer in regions like the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait, China's rapid strides in radar technology are raising eyebrows and stakes. From counter-stealth systems that claim to pierce the veil of advanced fighters like the F-22 and F-35, to naval radars boasting detection ranges up to 4,500 kilometers, these developments signal a potential reconfiguration of military power dynamics. With the ability to track hypersonic threats and peer through weather with satellite networks like NUWA, China isn't just keeping pace, it might be setting the pace. So, how do these advancements ripple through global security, and what do they mean for the future of deterrence? Before we dive into this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Radar technology, at its core, is the art of bouncing radio waves off objects to detect their position, speed, and nature. Think of it as a high-tech game of echolocation. Since its debut in the early 20th century, radar has evolved from a clunky tool for spotting ships in fog to a linchpin of modern military and defense strategies. It's the eyes and ears of air defense, naval operations, and missile tracking, giving nations the ability to see threats coming whether they're planes, drones, or hypersonic weapons streaking at Mach 5. In a world where stealth and speed define the battlefield, radar isn't just about detection. It's about survival, deterrence, and striking first if push comes to shove. Enter China, which has been pouring resources into radar like it's the next space race. Recent developments out of Beijing are turning heads, and not just for their ambition. China's engineers have rolled out systems like the JY-26 Skywatch, touted as a counter-stealth radar that can supposedly spot low observable aircraft like the US's F-35 or B-2 from hundreds of kilometers away. Then there's the SLC-7, a radar with a claimed range of 3,000 kilometers, designed to track everything from satellites to ballistic missiles. Naval advancements are just as striking. The Type 346B radar on China's destroyers integrates with hypersonic missile defenses, while satellite-linked systems like NUWA aim to pierce weather and distance barriers for real-time ocean surveillance. These aren't incremental upgrades, they're leaps that could neutralize traditional advantages like stealth and geographic buffer zones. Why does this matter? For military strategy, radar dictates the rules of engagement. If China can reliably detect U.S. stealth assets or monitor naval movements across the Pacific, it reshapes deterrence in hotspots like Taiwan or the South China Sea. It's not just about seeing farther, it's about shrinking the enemy's room to maneuver. As China pairs these radars with AI-driven data processing and network warfare, the gap between technological parity and superiority blurs. The question isn't just what China can see, it's how that vision rewrites the global security playbook. China's radar advancements are ringing alarm bells for Western nations, and for good reason. They threaten to upend the technological edge that has long underpinned their national security and defense capabilities. The implications are stark, cutting across air, sea, and space domains, and forcing a hard look at vulnerabilities that were once theoretical. First, take the counter-stealth radars like the JY-26 or quantum radar prototypes China's been teasing. Western militaries, particularly the US, have banked heavily on stealth tech, think F-22s, F-35s, and B-21 bombers, to penetrate enemy airspace undetected. If China's claims hold water and these systems can reliably track low observable platforms, that advantage evaporates. It's not just about losing the element of surprise, it's about exposing multi-billion dollar assets to cheaper, radar-guided missiles. For NATO allies relying on U.S. airpower, this could mean a thinner shield against aggression, especially in contested zones like Eastern Europe or the Arctic. Naval implications hit even harder. China's Type 346B radar and satellite link NUA network promised to turn the Pacific into a fishbowl, tracking carrier strike groups and submarines with unnerving precision. The U.S. Navy's dominance has leaned on its ability to project power from the sea, often cloaked by distance and stealthy escorts. But if China can spot a carrier 4,500 kilometers out, or worse, pinpoint a Virginia-class sub sneaking through the South China Sea, Western fleets face a tighter noose. This shrinks operational freedom, 
forcing ships to either hug friendly shores or risk early detection and hypersonic counterstrikes. For nations like Japan, Australia, and the UK, who lean on US naval deterrence, it's a direct hit to their security umbrella. Then there's the missile defense headache. Systems like the SLC-7, with its 3,000-kilometer reach, could track ballistic and hypersonic threats in real time, bolstering China's own defenses while exposing gaps in Western ones. The US's Aegis and THAAD systems are robust, but they're not infallible, especially against the sheer volume and speed of China's emerging arsenal. If China's radar net can guide interceptors or cue offensive strikes faster than the West can react, the balance of deterrence tilts. This isn't just a Pacific problem, it ripples to Europe, where NATO's missile shield could face similar pressures if China shares tech with allies like Russia. The broader concern? Time and adaptation. Western defense strategies have assumed a lead in sensor tech, but China's pace, fueled by state-driven investment and a knack for reverse engineering, suggests that gap is closing, if not closed. The Pentagon's already scrambling, with reports flagging China's radar edge as a pacing threat. Budgets are stretched, and retrofitting stealth fleets or rushing next-gen countermeasures like directed energy weapons takes years, years China might not grant. Add in the psychological angle. Allies like South Korea or the Philippines might waver if they doubt US firepower can still hold the line. This isn't panic-inducing yet, but it's a wake-up call. China's radar leap doesn't just challenge Western hardware, it challenges the confidence that's kept the security architecture intact. The West's response will need to be swift, creative, and probably expensive, or risk seeding the initiative in a game where seeing first often means striking last. China's pursuit of advanced radar technologies is a cornerstone of its military modernization, and the systems under development, like the JY-26, SLC-7, Type 346B, and the low-latitude long-range ionospheric radar, LARID, are poised to reshape global military operations. These innovations span counter-stealth, long-range detection, naval integration, and ionospheric monitoring each carrying distinct implications for how conflicts might unfold, particularly in contested regions like the Indo-Pacific. The JY-26 Skywatch is a standout in China's counter-stealth arsenal. Operating in the UHF band, it exploits longer wavelengths to detect stealth aircraft like the F-22 and F-35, which are designed to evade higher-frequency radars. Claims from Chinese sources suggest it can spot these jets at ranges up to 500 kilometers, though real-world performance likely varies with conditions and countermeasures. Pair this with AI-driven signal processing, and the JY-26 could shrink the stealth advantage Western Air Forces rely on, forcing them to rethink penetration tactics. Imagine a scenario over the Taiwan Strait. US stealth fighters, once invisible, might now face early detection compressing decision timelines and exposing them to China's integrated air defenses, think HQ-9 missiles or S-400 systems acquired from Russia. Globally, this pressures nations to invest in next-gen stealth, like the B-21 Raider, or electronic warfare to jam or spoof these radars. The SLC-7 takes range to another level, with a reported reach of 3,000 kilometers in the L-band. It's a multi-role beast, tracking ballistic missiles, satellites, and aircraft, making it a linchpin for China's anti-access, area denial, A2, AD, strategy. Stationed on the mainland, it could monitor US bases in Guam or Japan, feeding data to hypersonic weapons like the DF-17. For military operations, this extended gaze complicates Western power projection. Carrier strike groups, historically a US trump card, might be tracked from afar giving China time to deploy anti-ship ballistic missiles or swarm drones. The ripple effect? Allies like Australia or South Korea might demand stronger missile defenses, while the US Navy could pivot to dispersed operations with smaller, less detectable vessels. On the naval front, the Type 346B radar, mounted on Type 055 destroyers, integrates active electronically scanned array, AESA, tech with a rumored 4,500-kilometer range for missile detection. This isn't just about spotting threats, it's about queuing hypersonic defenses or guiding China's own anti-ship missiles, like the YJ-21. In a Pacific showdown, this could turn the tables on US naval supremacy. 
Carriers like the USS Gerald R. Ford, once untouchable, might face a tighter detection net, forcing them to operate farther from Chinese shores or lean harder on submarine escorts. Globally, this naval radar edge could embolden China's blue water ambitions, challenging freedom of navigation in places like the South China Sea or even the Arctic, where melting ice opens new strategic lanes. Then there's LARID, a game-changer in over-the-horizon OTH, detection. With acclaimed 10,000-kilometer range, it bounces high-frequency waves off the ionosphere to see beyond the Earth's curvature, tracking plasma bubbles that disrupt GPS and comms, alongside stealth targets. Deployed in 2024, it's billed as the world's most powerful radar, covering from the Indian Ocean to the Western Pacific. Militarily, this is a double-edged sword, it enhances China's situational awareness, think early warning of US missile launches from Hawaii, while potentially degrading Western satellite-dependent ops by predicting ionospheric interference. In a global context, if China builds a networked OTH grid, as some scientists propose, it could monitor US and NATO movements worldwide, from the Atlantic to the Middle East, tipping the scales in intelligence and preemptive strikes. These technologies don't just boost China's defense, they project power. Counter-stealth radars could proliferate to allies like Pakistan or Iran, undermining U.S. air dominance in regional conflicts. Long-range systems like SLC-7 and LARID extend China's strategic reach, potentially deterring intervention in flashpoints like Taiwan or the Senkaku Islands. For Western militaries, the counterplay involves escalating costs, more jamming tech, hypersonic countermeasures, or distributed sensor networks like the US's JADC-2 vision. Operationally, it's a shift from brute force projection to cat and mouse evasion, where every move is watched, and the first to see often wins. China's radar leap isn't rewriting the rules yet, but it's damn close to forcing everyone else to adapt, or fall behind. China's radar revolution isn't just a technical flex, it's a potential game-changer that could tilt the scales of global military power, and a compelling case lies in the South China Sea, where the low-latitude long-range ionospheric radar, LARID, and its ilk could turn a simmering standoff into a strategic checkmate. Let's unpack the evidence and why it matters. In late 2024, China activated LARID on Hainan Island, a beast of an over-the-horizon, OTH, radar with a claimed range of 10,000 kilometers, enough to sweep from the Indian Ocean to the Western Pacific. State media hailed it as the world's most powerful radar, capable of tracking stealth aircraft, hypersonic missiles, and ionospheric disruptions that scramble GPS and comms. Pair this with the plan's Type 055 destroyers, equipped with the Type 346 BAESA radar, range up to 4,500 kilometers, and you've got a layered detection net that blankets one of the world's most contested regions. The South China Sea, a chokehold for $3 trillion in annual trade and a flashpoint over disputed reefs and islands, is ground zero for testing this radar supremacy. Here's the threat. During a 2023 PLA Navy exercise, Chinese military blogs leaked unverified but plausible reports that the JY-26 Skywatch radar, deployed near Fujian, tracked a USB-2 Spirit, a stealth bomber designed to be invisible, at 400 kilometers. Fast forward to Lurid's debut, and analysts like Rick Joe at The Diplomat speculate it could push that detection envelope to thousands of kilometers, spotting US assets as far as Guam or even Hawaii. If true, this shreds the stealth cloak that's been a US trump card since the 1990s. Now, imagine a crisis. Say, a Chinese blockade of Taiwan or a clash near the Spratly Islands. U.S. carriers and stealth jets, once able to approach undetected, could be pinned from the moment they leave port, feeding real-time data to China's hypersonic DF-17 missiles, which can strike within minutes. The Pentagon's 2024 China Military Power Report flags this as a significant erosion of U.S. power projection, noting that China's A2, AD bubble now extends beyond the first island chain. The advantage for China is equally stark. Lurid's ionospheric monitoring, tracking plasma bubbles that disrupt satellite signals, gives Beijing a predictive edge. In a 2025 wargame simulation by RAND, a similar OTH radar let China preempt U.S. naval maneuvers by jamming GPS at optimal moments, crippling missile guidance and forcing American ships into a defensive crouch. 
Meanwhile, the Type 346B's integration with naval hypersonic defenses could neutralize U.S. anti-ship threats, letting China dictate terms in the South China Sea. This isn't hypothetical. Satellite imagery from December 2024, analyzed by CSIS, shows China expanding radar installations across its artificial islands, creating a persistent surveillance grid. If networked with Lurid and mainland systems, it's a panopticon that could lock out Western intervention short of all-out war. Why is this significant? It's not just about one region, it's about cascading effects. If China can neutralize stealth and naval mobility here, it sets a precedent for hotspots like the Arctic or Persian Gulf, where allies like Russia or Iran might buy in. The US and NATO, already stretched by budget fights and aging fleets, face a stark choice. Match this radar leap with billions in countermeasures, think NGAD or JADC2, or seed the initiative. A single breakthrough, say, Lurid guiding a DF-17 to sink a carrier, could shift alliances, embolden China's neighbors to bandwagon, and rewrite deterrence. This isn't a distant what-if, it's a now-or-never pivot point, where China's radar eyes could blind the West's sword. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like and share our video. We will bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.